Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspiration and I want to apologise in advance, I seem to have a funny throat today but I wanted to get this reading done. So this is the Divine Masculine versus Divine Feminine Energy check-in. So we're going to check where they are with their current energies right now. So these readings are for people in separation, no contact, okay? So we're going to look at the Masculine first and then we'll look at the Feminine Energies. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please check out my videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I do appreciate that. If any of you have any suggestions for future videos you'd like me to do, just leave me a comment down below. Um, I'm doing an offer if you sign up for my Patreon before the 1st of February. Um, once I receive first payment, I will give you a free reading as a thank you. And it could be, you know, 20 minutes long or so on a subject of your choice. And if you buy two decks out of my card shop to the value of £40 or $40, again, I will give you a free reading as a thank you once proof of purchase is received. Just to, you know, thank you for your support. So I have over 80 decks now in my shop. So check those out. So there's the combination of tarot and oracle. So let's start off with the masculine energies. So where's the divine masculine at right now on his energies? So we've got Daughter Value, the Sixth Chakra, which is the Third Eye, Daughter Spirit, Storm Warning, Adjacent Possibilities, the Garden and the Gate, Daughter Personal Healing and Happiness, Man Holding a Coin. So we can see here that the masculine has been doing work on himself here, um, on his self-esteem. He's opening up to spirit with that third eye and daughter spirit there. We have storm warning, which reminds me a bit of the tower energy. So there could be sudden changes coming in his life. And it is the number 10. It's the end of a cycle. So this could be sudden changes that he's not expecting. And we've got adjacent possibilities. So that's talking about choices. And we all have choices. We have free will, obviously. And the garden and the gate. So there's a slight hesitation there um, about stepping through that gate. And to me, stepping through that gate is to a new beginning, a new start here. And, you know, door to personal for healing and happiness is his. Once he steps through that gate, and we've got a beautiful rainbow and the dove of peace there. So peace, abundance and happiness is what I'm getting. And then we have the man holding a coin. And that reminds me of that, like, page of cups energy. Uh, sorry, page page of coins energy like a solid offer okay that he's wanting to make an offer here to his divine feminine so let's clarify these energies so what's this daughter value about <clears throat> daughter value about here what's daughter value about <clears throat> We have the Knight of Swords energy. So that's air sign energy. So some of you could have been dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Doesn't have to be, but it's that fast moving energy. That's somebody rushing forwards. Okay, because they're feeling good about themselves. They're in a better self-esteem and maybe they feel they can come towards their feminine now with a message of truth, of clarity. And, you know, they've got that themselves. They're feeling clearer themselves, I feel. Um, we've got the six chakras, so they're they're connecting, they're open to their intuition. We've got Knight of Wands energy. So that is that passionate energy, sometimes seen as a player. So some of you could have been connecting with a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There is a lot of passion here. And I feel there was confusion before. They just felt maybe it was just a, a passionate connection. But now they're understanding, they go, they've gone within, and they're understanding that there was more to this connection. And, you know, they've opened up that door to spirit there. And we've got Six of Cups energy. So that is that nostalgia, isn't it? That thinking of somebody from the past, you know, and, and that reconciliation, you know, wanting to reconcile. And it's that balanced energy. You know, we have three cups on each side. There's equal, equal give and take energy here with the love. And we've got that sudden change there with that storm warning. So what's that about? 
What is the storm warning about? What's the storm warning about? We've got nine of cups. So that's wish fulfillment. So I feel this is about realisation, okay? This could be a sudden realisation for some of them that their feminine is their wish fulfillment and they, you know, get on their horse, basically. We've got two knights here. So they could be younger than the feminines, um, but again, doesn't have to be. It's still not that mature energy of the king, but this is somebody that is coming forward here. So that could be that sudden change to you know come forward and, and share their truth and they know they have choices to make with that adjacent possibilities there and we have the temperance energy so they're coming into balance between their mind and heart so they will be making that um clear decision they will have that clarity as i say between their mind and heart they will have that balance within them of their masculine and feminine energies as well and we have the garden and the gate there wow so we have the Wheel of Fortune here, the Karmic Wheel is turning. So there's definitely going to be a change and movement forward. They are going to step through the gate, I feel, to a new beginning here. And obviously it's different for everybody. This is a general reading. And yes, they want to step through that gate to personal healing and happiness. So they've been working on themselves and they want their happiness. They want to step through. They want that new beginning here. So why is that there? We've got Page of Swords energy here. So they could have been watching you online. Sometimes that's seen as somebody, you know, watching somebody on, on social media. But they're definitely wanting to communicate some truth here. There's definitely some truth coming towards you here, I feel, from the masculine. And they want to make this solid offer with this coin. They are in a better position financially. They're understanding, you know, they have that, that clarity within themselves. They're understanding more about this connection. And they're wanting to make a solid offer here to their feminine. So let's clarify that. Wow. Ace of Wands. So a new beginning, a fresh start, a passionate new start here. Wanting to offer that to their feminine. And there is a lot of passion and desire connected to that as well. Wow. And we have King of Pentacles energy connected to that. So, you know, the king is the earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is king energy. This is mature energy. So it doesn't have to relate to a star sign as such, but it, it's relating to that maturity. I feel this person has really gained in maturity in this time apart. They've become the king. They know what they want. They're in that solid energy, stable energy, and they're wanting, you know, again, he's holding a pentacle. He's got finances. He's feeling good in a stable financial position he feels he has something of value to offer now whereas before he may not have felt that well yeah ace of swords clarity truth he's wanted to come forward and there's that page of pentacles with that offer so there is definitely a solid offer and we've got that success there with the six of wands they're wanting success and victory they're not factoring in they're wanting that in this connection <clears throat> so what other energies is he in there? Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So he's definitely done this growth, this spiritual growth. And as I say, he's matured in this time apart. He's in good self-esteem now. He's really probably done work on his solar plexus energy. He's feeling good about himself. He's feeling worthy. And service. I feel good when I help others. So maybe he's come out of a selfish energy that he was in. And he's realising that by helping others... He feels much better about himself and that helps with his self-esteem energy as well. So what other energies? Yeah, time apart, no contact. So just confirmation that there has been no contact. And he's awakening to who he truly is. You know, what this connection is about, who he is as a person. Why, what is his reason for being here? <clears throat> and he wants to meet up. <clears throat> and we've got leads to sex, intimacy. Obviously, everyone has free will. That's your choice. And I'm sure that isn't his reason for wanting to reach out, but it could lead to that because if you feel in passion and you've missed somebody and you feel they're genuine, things can happen, you know. And we had that storm warning there. And he wants that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, 
you know, talk under the stars. We share our dreams, our future. <clears throat> Some of you could resonate with star seeds as well. There could be that star seed connection. But they want to talk to you about the future. So that's beautiful. So what energy, what emotions? Yeah, he was feeling the loss, the grief of his feminine here. And he realised he was being fake. He was wearing a mask. And again, you could have been mirroring each other in that energy. He wasn't being authentic. And he's hoping that you will forgive him. And he's working on forgiving himself. He's been in that energy of self-forgiveness right now. And we have the uh, third eye chakra again, confirmation, seeing. So he's seeing through his third eye, his intuition. He's got a new perspective. He sees the truth, the clarity, has knowledge. So we saw all that in the, in the tarot. You know, he's definitely seeing clearer, okay, because he's tapped into his in, own intuition and higher self. And we have love, the heart chakra, beautiful. So we have compassion, caring, empathy, acceptance and gentleness. So I feel he's having compassion for himself and he's having compassion for his feminine, for this connection. He's feeling caring towards her. He has that empathy. He's accepting things. He's accepting himself, warts and all, and he's in that energy of gentleness with himself. So that's beautiful. He's not being harsh <clears throat> on himself. So let's get some other energy. So we've got flexibility. So maybe he could have been an inflexible person before. Maybe he was controlling... He needed things done his way or the highway, basically. But he's learning to be flexible and to go with that flow energy and protection. So I do feel he feels very protective of his feminine. And this connection is divinely protected as well. I feel that's confirmation of that. And again, acceptance. So we saw that earlier as well. He's in that energy of acceptance. Acceptance of himself, of the mistakes he's made. And being in that compassionate, forgiving energy. So what soul healing messages? Magic and miracles. Believe and you will attract into your life. It's better miracle. And life can be full of magic if you let it. So he's starting to tap into that and really resonate with that. Spiritual gifts. Open up to your gifts. We all have them. Work with them. Develop them like a muscle. And they will help you navigate through life. So he could have tapped in to some spiritual gifts or he will be he's awakening he's opening up to his gifts what they are and you know he's really focusing on that so some self-love messages so self-love as above so below so yes he's really you know starting to ground himself to connect to the higher realms and being in that energy of self-love that forgiveness that compassion and he's realising that patience is a virtue. He's learning patience. I feel this is one of the big lessons for these sort of connections as well. So what does he want to say to his feminine? I've never instantly clicked with someone the way I have with you. It feels like we've known each other before because there's not another soul on this earth that understands me the way you do. And it was love at first sight. And I want to be able to provide for you I can give you the world. I have some financial challenges that I have to work through to be able to have enough to come towards you and make your solid offer. So we've had this offer coming out time and again. So this is definitely, obviously, it's a timing will be different for everybody. For some of them, they're still working on having that. You know, they feel um, in a better position if they feel financially stable. They want that behind them to give them that confidence. Some of them are in that position already. So let's get your final, the final um guidance <clears throat> open up to change so the masculine is definitely open up to change here and we've got new moon in aquarius so we're in aquarius season now so that could be significant and let your fears dissolve moon in cancer here so that we've just had that moon in cancer haven't we again so that could be really have helped him tap into his feelings and to really let go of some fears and be able to come forward and make that offer so they're the masculine energy so i'm going to clear the decks and we get the feminines thank you for watching hello there we're back with the divine feminine energies so we have beauty so i feel this is talking about self-love self-worth self-esteem the feminine is really seeing her beauty and we have creation so could be very much tapping into creativity at this time and realizing that you have the tools to manifest sovereignty being in your own power you know standing up for yourself release you know letting go not trying to control anything having boundaries you know really protecting your own energy at this time beginnings wanting a new beginning here and self-love again confirmation in that energy self-love 
surrendering, yes, as we said, releasing, surrendering to the divine, trusting, feeling hunger, feeling a hunger for more and wanting to take action, feeling, you know, driven to take action <clears throat> in, in your life, okay, which is more the masculine energy. But I feel both the masculine and feminine are coming to balance within their own energies. So why is beauty here? Let's clarify these energies. Why is beauty here? We've got Page of Swords energy. So, you know, I feel you're seeing the truth of who you are. You really have that clarity. And maybe other people have confirmed it to you as well. But you are really standing in your own realisation of who you are. And we have creation energy there. So we've got Six of Swords, <clears throat> which is moving away from the past, moving away from past disappointments and hurts. And you're using that you know, experiences, to tap into your creativity, to be creative. So why is Sovereign here? We have the Strength card, yes, you've become strong. You've become emotionally strong, spiritually strong. You've done a lot of work on yourself. You've done a lot of healing. You're letting the past go and you feel really good about yourself. You're in a really good powerful place and you're releasing the past you're releasing you know trying to control you know you are you know you've been through a lot you've had a lot to cope with and it's time to let go now to let go of that control <coughs> why is release here wow we have the star energy so yes you've been through a period of healing and you're working on your manifestation to manifest your dreams, your desires, your, you know, your dream country. What is that for you? And yes, you're working on that and you're in your feelings right now. And we have boundaries there. So I feel you're having better boundaries for yourself with people in your life generally, you know, to protect your own energy. You're not giving when you're depleted. You're really, you know, focusing on that self-care, that self-love energy. <clears throat> Boundaries now. Yeah, we've got judgment. So you've realised, you know, what you need to do for yourself. You've realised what, what it is that helps you to make you feel better about yourself. And we've got beginnings. So you're wanting a new beginning there. We've got Ace of Swords energy. <clears throat> so I feel you will be getting the clarity and the truth that you need to move forward in your life. And you're in that beautiful energy of self-love. And we have the sun energy. You're feeling good about yourself. You're feeling happy. You're in a good place in your life. You're feeling in, you know, you you know you're responsible for your own happiness. And we have surrender. And you're surrendering to the divine. You're not trying to control anything here. Okay, you're, you're surrendering to that. You're trusting, you're having faith. Wow, and with Ten of Cups energy. So, you know, this is what you could be wanting, you know, you're wanting that loving relationship here and you're trusting, you're having faith that that will come to you at the right time because you're releasing, you're surrendering, you have this hunger for change, you have this hunger for things to move forward, okay, <clears throat> this hunger about here. We have this four of wands energy so that is about stability building stability in your life so i feel you're working on that and it could also mean you know that you're wanting a solid commitment we had that ten of cups energy you're wanting something stable you're wanting to build something solid and we've got action here so sometimes you feel that you need or you're feeling the need to take some sort of action so that would be different for all of you so what's this action about <clears throat> this action about we have queen of cups energy so you could be very much in your feelings okay 
um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, really feeling your feelings. And, you know, this could be about your divine masculine. You're, you're feeling those feelings and you want things to change here. And we have the full card energy. So you're wanting to take a leap of faith. You're wanting, you know, to, to take a risk, to move forward. So why is the full energy now? We have Knight of Swords energy, so that came out in the Masculine's reading as well. So <clears throat> some of you could be connecting to an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And, you know, this Knight is somebody that can rush in. And maybe that's how you're feeling with that action. Maybe you're feeling you want to rush forward and share your truth here. You know, there is some truth that needs to be shared. Why is Knight of Swords now? Six of Wands energy. So you're wanting success and victory in your life here. You know, you're you're wanting to have that success, that victory, whatever that is for you. So why is Six of Wands here? It's a Six of Wands here. So we've got seven of pentacles energy. So, you know, you've sowed the seeds in this connection with each other and you're wanting success and victory. You're wanting to bring in that harvest of that, you know, having that ten of cups energy. And we've got the temperance energy. So you, you're both coming into balance. Wow. And then we have the king of cups. So we've got the queen of cups and the king of cups here. I don't know if I can find the queen. Where's she gone? It's the Queen of Cups. So we've got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Beautiful. He's very sexy, hey? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, counterpart energy. So definitely, you know, both wanting success and victory in this connection. Okay, so let's move on. What other energies is the feminine in here? So she has empathy. You know, she is understanding, you know, what's happened here. She's got that empathy for her divine masculine and for herself. And she's being, she wants to be in, in a peaceful energy. She's a being of love. She released all negative energy, which is what we saw, that releasing energy, that surrender energy. And we've got purpose. I know what I'm here to do. So she's got in touch with her purpose, what she wants to do, to live her purpose, to help others. And again, we've got third eye and heart chakra activation so what other energies so yeah before she was very much stressed anxious and fearful you know in in a period of this separation but she's got a deep connection with her intuition with her guys her angels she's tapped into that guy she's been you know doing regular spiritual practices of meditation or yoga to connect with her guides and she's feeling compassion and we had that come out on the masculine she's feeling loving and she, you know, she's going to help anyone, people or animals. She's feeling a lot of compassion. Yeah, she's in that divine feminine energy now, that empress energy. She wants that union, though. She's She is wanting that union with her counterpart. We saw that. So what emotions? Yeah, she's felt nervous and afraid, you know, and she's overcome this. Yeah, she's gone within, hidden depth. She's really gone within, gone to the dark side, really gone within. And she's in that energy of compassion. She has compassion for herself and for others. And the you know the masculine and feminine are mirroring each other in these energies. And we have the crown chakra, intelligence, education, knowledge, perception, flexibility. So again, flexibility came out in the masculine. So this is, you know, gaining that knowledge, tapping into ancient wisdom, educating herself, gaining knowledge, seeing things from different perspectives. She's very intelligent. And we've got the family here. So this is base chakra, root chakra, belonging, community, culture, tribe. So maybe connecting with your soul tribe here. 
um, maybe finding a community that you resonate with. And for some of you, you could want a family. You know, you're you're feeling that pull. We've got two little eggs in a the nest there. So you could be wanting a family and settling down and, and having that base, you know, that beautiful connection, as we saw with the Ten of Cups energy. And you're feeling the love, you know, you're in that energy of self-love, as we saw. And it is the number six again, two plus four is six. You're feeling kind, benevolent, sharing, in that energy of giving and receiving. And yeah, beautiful energy. So we've got enlightenment, yes. Yeah, so you've received enlightenment, you've gone within, as I said, and you're understanding so much more. You're in, in the energy of joy in your own life. You realise you're responsible for your own happiness and joy. And you want change, you know, you're, you've transformed, you want change in your life. You know, you want the end of this um, period of separation. You want to get clarity and truth. So what is your soul message is heal. Heal addictions, addictive behaviours, take the time you need to heal. So I feel that the feminine has very much worked on the healing right now. And the divine, connect to the universe, your guides, angels, open up your crown chakra. So we had the crown chakra come out. So really, you know, work on that connection with your guides and angels. They have messages for you. And this will really help you move forward. So self-love messages. Forgive yourself, forgive others. Free yourself from the past. And that this allows you to move on. So we saw that with that releasing and surrendering. And both masculine and feminine in the energy of forgiveness. So both forgiving themselves and each other, which is beautiful. And you're grounding yourself, you know, getting out in nature, connecting with nature is very healing as well. And ground yourself into the earth when you do that work, you know, with spirit as well, so that you're, you know, you don't become detached from this planet. So what does she want to say to a masculine? I want to introduce you to my family. I know they will love you and welcome you with open arms. And the first time I saw you, I felt a deep, intense connection that I've never experienced before. And I knew I had to get to know you. I wanted to have you in my life. So they both said that. And the way you dance and move your body does something indescribable to me. The desire burning inside me is eating me alive. So a lot of passion and desire. And that's mutual energy. So final guidance. Reflect on your priorities. And we've got Aquarius energy again. So we're in the energy of, you know, we're in Aquarius um, time of the year. So what are your priorities? You know, what do you need to prioritise in your life? Feminines and new moon and cancer. Again, we had cancer and Aquarius energy. So maybe some of you are Aquarius and cancer, um, star signs. And it says relax. So yes, you know, do that work, you know, fulfil your purpose, do your mission, but find time to relax to just chill and surrender and just be in that beautiful energy of relaxation. So there are your messages, feminine, sending you love and blessings. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.